I think I know what tea I'm gonna have next time I come yes. on. I got this, which I don't know, you probably can't read. It's um it's a flower. Uh-huh. It's called Blue Lily. Yes. And it sounds like uh, drugs. It basically well, it does have a psychoactive ingredient uh-huh. in it. It was it's legal though, so Are you, you gonna know. come onto my show doing shrooms? Fucking god no. <laughs> We will know if the lights are not on next time. I could not set up my laptop if that was the case. <laughs> if you rang me, I'd be like, why are you doing this to me? So yes, yeah, sir, come onto the show with your psychoactive tea. Yeah. What okay, what is the uh the psychoactive substance in it if for people who are interested? Uh, I'll double check. Give me a sec, I'm just gonna... I'll oh, use a look at your desk. Nice. Yeah, thanks. Be back. What is that off to the... Is it your left side? No, right side. This? No. There's like a... a top right. That? Yeah, there's like a, a line there. I think it's a lens flare. <laughs> oh, that's a funky looking lens flare. But yeah, uh, I, I did notice the uh the thing in the right. Oh, the left, whatever. Psychoactive alkaloid. Apropofene? <laughs> what the fuck? Apropofene? A-P-O-R-P-H-I-N-E. A-P... A-P-O-R... I... I, I didn't catch the rest of that. I'll just, I'll just send you the... Yes, please do that, because I'm, I'm dummy. It's basically, um, it makes you relaxed, um, but also kind of alert at the same time. And Mm -hmm. it like, um, improves your dreaming kind of capability. (laughs) Mm, Okay. Where'd you get this from? Happy Herbs. (laughs) Sponsorship from Happy Herbs? Yeah, I'd fucking take a sponsorship from Happy Herbs. Honestly, they sound like a drugstore. They are a drugstore, basically. There's one in the city. It's um on Bank Street. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you know that one. It's like the one that's directly up from the train station. Ah, yeah, yeah. But like, um, if you go in yeah. their store and you give them like the secret keyword, they'll take you ba- out back to see the actual line. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think they sell actual illicit substances. That's because you don't know the keyword. They do sell um, paraphernalia, though. <laughs> um, the, the way they get a, the way they get away with it is they call their glassware vases, mm-hmm. and they put flowers in them, and they have signs that say, "Please don't take pictures of our vases." <laughs> <laughs> Like here's an ice pipe. I'm okay, not an ice it. pipe. It's it's li- it's basically it's just basically cool bongs stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It, yeah. Well, it's bongs and pipes and and just yeah. I I haven't seen a meth fucking pipe there, so I okay. think we're okay. Look, just use a fucking a cigar pipe, and then no one's gonna question it. You can just buy like that's not even something that any um any cop would question. It's just a regular old tobacco pipe. Just smoking some, some leaf, brother. I... Yeah, I mean, I... like, there's, there's fucking police that always walk past it, so, you know, they're not doing anything too sus. Well, another store that, or another place that looks super sus in Adelaide is the, uh, the shisha joint. Dude, all the shisha places look hell sus. <laughs> like, you walk past and it's just, like, smoke rolling out. Yeah, well, I've heard stories of people, like, bringing weed and putting them on the, the hookah machines. And it's like, bro, it's on Heinley Street. Come on. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. But I guess, like, the police can't really do much there. Because, like, if they're like, oh, you're fucking smoking weed on the hookah machine, all the people would come out and be like, no, nah, no, nah, it's not. It's just normal hookah. It just smells different. It's just weed-scented hookah. <laughs> Oh, dear. That's such a weird place. I don't know what, like, what you get out of going there. I don't know. It's just, like, the social aspect of, like, smoking stuff. But, I like... Guess. That makes sense. It, 
it tastes nice, I guess. That's fair. But apparently it's like even worse for you than cigarettes because it's like how sweet the smoke is or something. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I did I did it once when I was drunk. I was like, oh my god, this is the fucking worst thing ever. <laughs> That's how I feel about vaping as well. Like I've done that once and like no. Maybe if I was yeah. smoking, it's it'd be better, but like <clears throat> having gone from it not smoking to smoking that, no. Yeah. I don't come near me with your tobacco plant, thank you. <laughs> yeah. I, if I'm gonna smoke, I'm gonna smoke something you know, that's going to be more interesting than that. Something a bit illicit. Uh, I'm I'm not going to say anything about a lawyer. Uh-huh. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, speaking, of vaping, DMT. <laughs> speaking of vaping, though, uh, vaping is a good way to use certain substances that I'm not going to mention. DMT. <laughs> what the, wait, put your head back where it was. There. Yeah, you can still see the flare. Is there something on your webcam? Oh, maybe. Yeah, it might have been a hair or something. Oh, oh what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <laughs> okay. It's, yeah, sure. It's gone now. <laughs> maybe it might have been a hair. I didn't see it, but maybe. I don't know. Interesting. 